I S U P K. Commanding General Yohanna, we're here teaching the black man that the Bible is his book and that the black man is the real Jew. The, the black man in the Bible is the Israelite, the people that God chose. God did not give his commandments to everyone, but, but God gave his commandments to one race, which is the Israelites. And guess what, black man? That's you. You are the Israelite written in the Bible. This Bible ain't no religious book. The Bible is a history book of the Bible is a history book of the Jews and black man. This Bible is your history book. That's right. You are the people that God parted the red. You are the people that God gave his commandments to. You are the people that God said, if you follow his commandments, you you will be above everybody else. And that's in the Bible. Religion don't know the Bible. Religion has the black man in the church singing. But yet this Bible is a book of laws. You have to do these commandments not sing and dance the kingdom of heaven black man comes when you put up all the weed all of the drugs all of the evil all the things that god hates and then what you open up the bible and you follow the commandments that's the kingdom right there in the bible it says the kingdom of heaven is in you so you're going to be black man you're going to, you're going to, have to start following these laws statutes and commandments now in these last days god's calling you to awake a wake up of these religions, a wake up of everything that the Lord hates. So when you get that, read it for me. Ephesians, the fifth chapter and the fifteenth verse. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. And the Bible says, Wherefore he saith, Wherefore God saying to you, black man, awake. You're awake right now. If you're in the Christian church, black man, you are you ain't um, awake. Why? Because under that religion. Black men got hanged, black men got lynched, and you follow that, you follow that, you follow that philosophy, you follow that philosophy right there. You can't be um, awake. Read that again. Up. Therefore, he saith, awake, thou that sleepest. And, and there, God wants you to awake. In these last days, black man, God's waking you up. He's showing you that religion can't help us. You've been following religion for hundreds of years. And yet the black community is what? It's all worse. Holes, drugs, gangs. Why? Because religion can't fix things in the black community. It ain't hard to see. Christianity, we have, we have been in there for hundreds of years and it hasn't fixed the black community. If anything, it's made the black community worse. You have people thinking, well, God loves me no matter what I do. And then guess what happens? They become the most evilest people that you have ever seen. Right. One, because you get a religion saying, God loves you no matter what you do. And that right there cannot fix the black community, reader. And arise from the dead. And the Bible says, arise from the dead. Black man, you are dead. You're following religion, you are dead. You don't even know who you are, you are dead. And that's what the Bible is on about. The Bible's telling you to awake way too long. You don't even know who you are. And the Bible says that you are a prince of God. Israel means he is a prince of God. And black man, that's you. You are the prince of God in the Bible. You ain't West Indian. God calls you a prince of God. And that's who you really are. Religion has you believing it doesn't matter who you are. And that's a lie. All throughout the Bible, God chose the Israelites. God prefers them above everybody. So religion clearly don't know the Bible. That's right. When the Bible is letting you know you are above everyone, Black man, you are the prince of God, and that's in the Bible. Read. 
and Christ shall give thee life. And there, and once you change, Christ is going to give you life, black man. Life is the kingdom of heaven. That's life right there. Where, where you're going to rule, you're going to rule this earth, black man. In the Bible it said, he made the world for your sakes. Imagine that. The God of heaven and earth made this world for you, black man. You that's lost. You don't even know who you are. And God made the earth for your sake. God made the sea, the animals, the gold, the diamonds for your sake, black man. And yet no religion ain't even letting you know that. Why? Because religion is an enemy and it hates you. And that's why religion has you believing God loves everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. When in the Bible, it's not in there. In the Bible, God only loves his people and his people is you, black man. You are the Israelites. Read. See then that ye walk circumspectly. And the Bible says, see there that ye walk. Now, how are you meant to walk? You're meant to walk in these commandments, in the laws of life. That's how you're meant to walk, black man. Not in no religion. Religion ain't the walk of life. Philosophies ain't the walk of life, black man. When they give me 1 Corinthians 15 and the 24 verse, so all throughout the Bible, God's commanding you to awake. Religion has you believe in everything, just love, love, love. And in the Bible, God is not all love. In the Bible it says, the Lord is a man of war. So how can a man of war be all about love? That don't make any sense um, uh, when you get that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15 and verse 34. Awake to righteousness. And the Bible says, awake to righteousness. Righteousness is following the laws of God. Righteousness ain't a song. Righteousness is you following the laws. In the you know what I mean? If you want to be a righteous man, it's an action, and the action is the keeping of the commandments. Read. And sin not. And sin not, meaning what? Don't break the commandments, black man. If you want God to be on your side, there's one thing you got to do, and it's to keep the laws in the Bible. There's nothing else you can do. Black man, you, you are the people of God, and guess what? You have to follow all these laws, all these statutes and commandments. From there, give me Ezekiel chapter 1 and the ninth verse. Ezekiel, the first chapter and the ninth verse. So all throughout the Bible, the Bible says that the Lord is a man of war. In the Bible, God ain't all love. You can't find that in here. Are we going to go in the Bible and show you that the God in his Bible ain't all love? And that when you sin, when you rebel against him, God will wipe you out. Me. The book of Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 9. Their wings were joined one to another. One and nine. The roll, the roll. The book of Ezekiel, chapter two, verse nine. And when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book. And now, guess what? That roll of the book is the Bible. Ezekiel, he had the word, and he's going to describe what is in this word. If it's all love and hugs, read. A roll of a book was therein, and he spread it before me, and it was, it was written within and without. And within and without means inside. So now he read his book inside and out, read. And there was written therein lamentation. A uh, what? Lamentation. And there in the Bible was written people crying. To lament is to cry, meaning something bad happened. In the Bible, it's not all about love. Ezekiel read the Bible, and in the Bible was lamenting, people crying, World War Three. people are going to lament, families dying, people are going to lament. The Bible ain't all love and hugs. Ezekiel read the Bible, and he says in the Bible was lamenting. To lament is to cry your heart out. Something bad happened, World War Three. Everyone's gonna know about how to lament. Why? Because people are going to be dying. In the Bible it says, this earth is going to be destroyed, burnt up. Read. Lamentations and mourning. And mourning, people crying. A mother that lost her son, she's mourning. And that's found in the Bible. Destruction and war is found in the Bible. And that's what Ezekiel saw too. Read. And woe. And woes. Woe. With that it means strong death, destruction. Ezekiel saw woes in the Bible. Ezekiel did not see all love and hugs. 
So anyone saying to you, the Bible is all about love, 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 they don't read the Bible. When Ezekiel said he saw lamenting and woes, destruction and death, that's what he saw in the Bible read. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. And who? Speak unto the house of Israel. And Ezekiel was sent to the Israelites, to you black man. Every man in the Bible, he was sent to, he was sent only to you, to tell you to change, to tell you that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Christ, Jesus Christ, he did not teach everyone. Christ said, teach the Israelites. And guess what, black man, that's you. We'll be out here for you. If you wasn't here, we would not even, we would not even be here. But guess what, black man, because you're here, we're here, telling you that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In the Bible, the kingdom of heaven is only for you, black man. And the kingdom of heaven is you ruling this earth. That's the kingdom. We all need to look around. The kingdom's gonna be on earth and you're gonna be ruling it too, black man. You're gonna be the kings. In the Bible, it says you're gonna rule and it says you're gonna have everything, every piece of gold, every diamond. And that's in the Bible. The God, the God in the Bible wants you to rule black man, but guess what? You gotta follow his commandments. And once you do that, you are gonna rule. Read. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. This has honey. Once you find out that this Bible is for you, it's as honey, you know, you know what? This Bible is my history book. This, this record, this book right here is for us. And guess what, black man? We're right here to let you know who you are. Religion has you believing. It doesn't matter who you are. And that's a lie. All throughout the Bible, God loves his people. And his people are the Jews. His people are the Israelites. And that's you, black man. And, and guess what? God loves you. In the Bible, it says he loves you above all people. He loves you above all, he loves you above everyone. Everyone that you see, God loves you black man above all of them. And that's in the Bible. The God of the Bible is racist. And the God of the Bible only loves you black man. He set his son Christ only to die for you black man. God came for his people. And guess what? His people are the Jews. And that's you black man, read. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. And who? Get thee unto the house of Israel. And Ezekiel was sent to the Israelites. He was then sent for everyone. Ezekiel was only for his people. He only spread the word of God to his people, the Jews. And that's what we're doing right now. This Bible, this record is for you, black man. We're right here for you, black man. Why? Because God's calling you. God's waking you up. In the Bible, it says, let them know from him. In the Bible it says, warn them from me. Why? Because the God in his Bible ain't no joke. The God in his Bible, he will wipe you out if you don't change black man. And that's why we're right here warning you from God, the creator of heaven, warning you read. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech. And there we can relate to you. We're not sent to no one else but our own people. Uh, from David and Ezekiel 33 and the set, uh, so right here warning you black man that the God in his Bible ain't, he's not no joke. And that's why in the Bible it says, warn them from me. Why? Because God ain't no joke. God flooded the earth. Someone to flood the earth ain't no joke. The God in his Bible ain't all love. And that's why we're right here warning you black man from God, not from us, from the Most High. When you get that, read that. Seven. The book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse seven. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And that's what we are. We are a watchman. We are watching over you, telling you what you're doing wrong, black man, and to tell you to fix up. Read. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. And there, we hear the word. How do you hear the word of God? You read the Bible. You read the Bible. That's you hearing the word of God. Read and warn them from me. And uh, who? Warn them from me. And the Bible says, warn them from me. Black man, we're warning you from God. Why? Because the God in the Bible ain't no joke. If you don't follow his laws, 
God will wipe you out. God will kill your family and you too, black man, if you don't change. And that's why the God in the Bible commanded us to warn you from him. The God in the Bible drowned the earth at one point. To drown is a horrible death, and God's done that. God set fire. God's killed many people. And the God of the Bible says, black man, we must warn you from him. Why? Because I said before, the God of this Bible ain't no joke, black man, read. And when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked. But his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So now, a wicked man, a man that don't follow the commandments, if we don't warn him and he dies, then guess what? We're gonna have to pay. And guess what? We don't want that to happen. That's why we're here right now, warning the wicked, warning the wicked to stop and to follow the commandments. We're doing that right now at the ISUPK, re. But his blood I will require at thy hand. And there, we're gonna have to pay for the death of that wicked man. That's why the Lord commanded us to come out here right now and to warn that wicked man to stop the wickedness and to return to the commandments of the Lord. That's what we do right now at the ISUPK, read. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way, to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And there, man, that's what we do right now. We are warning you. The God of the Bible says, warn them from me. So if anything happens to you after that, then guess what? It's your fault. But the God of this Bible ain't no joke. If God's saying, warn them from me, God ain't messing around. The God of this Bible will take your life, black man. And that's why we're here warning you telling you to change. In the Bible it says awake. Why? Because you ain't awake right now. You don't even know who you are. You're following everyone, everyone else's religions. That's why you're not um, awake in these last days. But the God of the Bible is calling you back. Although you're cursed, although you find it hard, black man, God loves you that much. He's giving you another chance. Imagine that. You've sinned against him. You've done all manner of wicked against him. And in these last days, he loves you that much. He's giving you a second chance. God sent his son, Christ, for you, black man, to give you a second chance. Imagine that, after all the wicked, following other gods, breaking all of his laws, and yet, he gave you a second chance. That's love right there. And that's the love that God only has for you, black man. Religion don't know the Bible. God's love ain't for everyone. God's love is only for the Israelites, the house of Israel, and that's in the Bible. From there, give me Matthew, take child and the for verse. God's love is only for you. God sent his only son only for you, black man. That's right. But yet, religion don't know the Bible. Reli religion has you believing. God sent Christ to die for everyone. And that's not in the Bible. In the Bible, it says, he shall save his people. And his people are the Jews. Christ only came to save his, his people. And that's you, black man. You are his people. You are the Israelites. And this Bible is your book. Christ only came for your sake to give you another chance for sinning against God, not following his commandments. So when you get that, read that. The book of Matthew 10, verse 44. Think not, I am come to send peace on earth. Now, now with this, it's written in red. This is the words of Christ. And with Christ, he said what? Think not, I am come to send peace on earth. So Christ and peace, he's not bringing that on the earth. Christ did not come for loaves and hogs. Christ, Christ came to send war. Christ ain't sending peace. We read in the Bible, and those words are, are written in red. And Christ said, "He ain't come to send peace on earth." This is this is the Bible. This is the same Bible you can buy anywhere. W. H. Smith, Waterstones, the same Bible, and it's written in red. And Christ said, "What? Think not. I have come to send peace on earth." And Jesus Christ said, he's not sending peace on earth. Imagine that. Everyone thinks they know the Bible. We Christ, he came for loads and hogs. But yet, written in red, the words of Christ, he said, he's not bringing peace on earth. Which shows you what? Religion don't know the Bible. Religion is just a bag of philosophy and lies. When Jesus Christ said at his own mouth, 
He's not sending peace on earth. That's right. Christ did not come for peace. That's right. Christ came to save his people, the Jews. That's right. Christ came for the Israelites and said, what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's the work of Christ. That's the objective of Christ. From there came Matthew 10 and 5. So we're going to show you who Christ came for. We're going to show you why. Because religion has you believing Christ came for everyone. And that's not in the Bible. That's right. And we're going to show you out of the words of Christ written in red. We're going to read it right now. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. These 12. Jesus sent four. Now the twelve are the disciples of Christ, and Jesus sent them. Jesus sent them forth. Now we're going to see who Jesus Christ sent them to. We and commanded them, saying. And now Christ, He commanded them. Now we're going to find out what Christ commanded them. Read. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. And He said, What? Go not into the way of the Gentiles. So any non-Israelites. Don't go in their way, Me, right. meaning any non-black man, don't go their way, read. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but rather, but rather. So with Christ, he told the 12, I would rather you go. Now we're going to see who Christ rather them read. But rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ said, go to the Israelites. Christ did not teach everyone. Christ taught them to go to the Israelites. That's right. So Christ did not come to teach everyone. We just read it in red. And Christ said, I would rather you go to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Everybody. Israel. The whole world. Israel. The white man. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ said, teach the Israelites. And black man, you are the Israelites. Christ came to teach you the word of God. He did not come to teach everyone. Religion don't know the Bible. Religion is a slave religion. That's right. Christianity is a slave religion. That's right. Which has you believing, I should love everyone. And guess what? Everyone don't love you. Slavery was the action of hate. So if they read this book, why did they hang black people then? Why did they castrate us then? We a thought Christianity is a religion of love. So guess what? That shows you that religion is a lie and a philosophy. Christianity as you believe in black man. I have to love everyone. When guess what? In the name of Christianity, black people was hanged. In the name of Christianity, black people had their backs whipped. That's right. So why would you follow that religion and say, well, God's love? When under Christianity, you was murdered, That's right. you was killed. That's right. So clearly, that religion is a lie and a philosophy. And you got black people like here saying, you're racist. When guess what? Slavery, that's racist. That's right. And no black person don't want to ever talk about that. You mentioned slavery, God's all love. But guess what? You was hanged, you had your back switched. You was bitten by dogs, had to run for your life. But yet, I can't go in the Bible and say that Christ only came for you, black man. You're racist against yourself. That's right. That's the problem. That's right. You're a coon and an uncle Tom. That's right. A bounty, coconut, whatever you want to call yourself. That's what you are. And then you come up here. Why? Because I'm teaching redemption for you, black man. You're evil and you don't even understand it. That's, right. That's the problem. Read that again up. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword